All right, Christina, thank you. Let's get to Kelsey Kushner now with the details on how the city is working to try and stop this crime problem. Kelsey, tonight's budget meeting, safe to say it got a little heated. Rick, it did, and it's still going on. It's now moving into the fifth hour. Council members were frustrated, and they set, definitely let it show tonight. They called on Commissioner Harrison, called his plan into questioning. They say whatever he's been doing is not working. That the community are taking us as a joke. Tense moments inside City Hall. I'm absolutely disgusted with the state of public safety in this city. And my hope is that we can get some answers tonight and that members of this council and members of the Ways and Means Committee can walk away from this meeting this evening and reassure our constituents that you all have things under control. As the spotlight is on the Baltimore City Police Department. Let me set the record straight and let me set it straight right here and right now. Our sense of urgency is set to maximum and it stays there and it never ever turns off. City council members called on police commissioner Michael Harrison questioning his plan to stop crime in the city as gun violence surges in Baltimore. Do you believe that we have enough support? Because I don't believe that we have enough police officers, enough sheriffs. I don't think we have enough. Inside the meeting Tuesday night, Harrison faced scathing questions from the council members about what's being done to make the streets safer. Going after drug dealers, and we we're making those cases every single day. I asked for a plan about open drug laws. You told me about arrests. Harrison telling city officials they're facing major challenges like staffing shortages, systemic issues, and low morale. He says he's constantly reaching out to state and federal agencies for help. But when you have officers that's not engaging in the community, then it sends a different message out to the community as if we don't care. So if you don't care, then they don't care. Now, Costello said tonight that he wants physical proof that Harrison has been reaching out to state and federal agencies asking for help. Commissioner Harrison said tonight that he does have full confidence in his team and he does understand the desperate need to get a hold on this violence. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kirshner for WJZ.